Oh my god, hi guys, it's beauty expert Trish here. I was overwhelmed with the response to people on my makeup tutorial saying, Trish, your positive life affirmations are inspiring. Please show us how to do them properly. So I thought I would make this video to show you how to do really great self-assuring positive affirmations. So to start, you're gonna need to get yourself a mirror. Oh look, there's the camera, isn't that funny? So you're gonna wanna put the mirrors just straight in front of you and make sure you look beautiful. Because if you look ugly, there's really no point. Just stop the video here. So my definition of ugly is anyone with the following. A big face, gray hairs, old age, red heads, freckles, pale skin, Basically, if you look like me, then you're okay to carry on watching this positive life affirmation video tutorial. Positive, think positive, think positive. All right, so to start, I'm gonna light a friend of mine's candle. He made this. It smells so disgusting and shit, and he's trying to flog them off, but I wouldn't buy them because it's disgusting. All right, we're gonna light this one here. Now to mask the horrific smell produced by one of Christian's candles, I'm gonna light one of my own. All right, now I am terribly nervous that my nylon hair is going to catch on fire. So I'm just gonna place the candles around the mirror where it's a lot safer. You're gonna to wanna to start by looking directly into your own eyes. Oh my God, Trish, you look so beautiful today. You look beautiful every day. I would really like to kiss you. So it's good to start off by saying some really positive, life-affirming things. Using terms like beautiful and kiss and vagina. Your vagina is like the most immaculate vagina I've ever seen. Ryan Gosling is too good for you. Here are some examples of some things you should say to yourself. Oh my god, Trish, did you get laser skin hair removal? Because your skin is looking so much better than the hairy mess that it used to be. Thanks, Trish, you're so kind. Anytime, darling, because you are the number one priority in this world. Sometimes you can get quite lonely and you don't have anyone to talk to. That's why I like to talk to myself in the mirror. It's fun and positive and life affirming. Trish, did you see the latest episode of Game of Thrones? Oh my God, I didn't because I don't watch that garbage of a show. Oh my God, I don't watch that garbage show either. It's so shit. I just Google the nude photos because I just don't want to sit through like 70 hours of just bullshit and then see a penis. I just want to see a penis. And then there was another time and then this woman's boobs. Like, oh my God, I saw that woman's boobs and I was like, oh my God, I wish my boobs like and never get like that because my boobs are so perky and amazing. Oh my God, your boobs are so perky and amazing, Trish. You just have the best body. You should play Cersei. Who's Cersei? I think she's the Game of Thrones character. Oh my God, is that the blonde one? Yeah, it's the blonde one. I could totes play her in the movie Game of Thrones when it comes out. And there we have it. We've defined a solid friendship bond. Haven't we, Trish? Yes, we have. I love you. You're my hero. Kiss me. Sometimes it's really good to talk our problems through in the mirror with our new best friend, Trish. Here's an example. <sighs> Trish, I've got something I want to tell you. You can tell me anything, Trish. I'm here to listen. Thanks, Trish. I ran out of my Xanax. Oh my God, you ran out of your Xanax? Yeah, I don't know what to do. You need to go see the doctor immediately. That's a serious concern. You, you need to take your Xanaxes. Oh my God, I don't even know what Xanax is. No, Trish, you need to take your Xanaxes. Okay, I'll take my Xanaxes. Thanks, Trish. You're welcome, Trish. <laughs> and sometimes you just need a solid girlfriend to talk any problems through. You look so upset, Trish. What's happened? Well, I went on a Tinder date. Oh my God, Trish, I can't believe you didn't tell me you went on a Tinder date. How was that? Yeah, it was okay, but like he split the bill with me. Oh my God, he split the bill? That's fucked. Men should pay. 
God, what a bigot. Yeah, I thought he was a bigot, but he was really nice. I don't care, Trish. He's a bigot. He didn't pay for your meal. What a fucking bigot. He hates women. He's anti-feminist. But I was just like, I can't believe he, he made me pay for my meal. What a bigoted fuck. It's just felt really good to get this off my chest. Thanks, Trish. You're welcome, Trish. It's always good to have friends. I've got one right here in the mirror. Just the one though, I don't I don't have any other sort of human friends, which is uh which is quite sad. No, it's not Trish, it's not sad. We are rock solid mates and you don't need anyone else in your life but me. Okay? Okay. Thanks, Trish. That's okay. Can we kiss? Oh my god, you kiss so well. Like, I think I have a lady boner. And that has been Trisha's life affirmation session. Tune in next week where we'll do something else. It's Trisha's life affirmations. She does the things that she doesn't care. It's Trisha's life affirmations. Trisha's life. Trisha's life. It's Trisha's life affirmations.